Every week, a new band. Brought to you by NZ On Air. The active life! Yeah. So fool's expectation makes the fall her twice as hard. All these roads that we've taken don't make it easy to lower your guard. I know it gets hard. Oh, oh, oh. well, I know it gets hard. Yeah. When the world's running dry, rain came pouring down. I can never tell how what the future may bring. Live for the moment in this life. It's a fool's expectation Makes the fall her twice as hard All these roads that we've taken Don't make it easy to lower your car I know it gets hard Oh, oh, oh. well I know it gets hard, yeah Well, I know it gets hard. Oh, 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 I know it gets hard. Oh, 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 oh. Radioactive FM and today's active live session made with support from New Zealand on air. Ko Amiria Tokuengua, we are joined live in studio by Louis Baker. How's it going? Kia ora, Amiria. Nice to be here. Thanks for having me. Cheer. Um, first, let, let's ease into it with an f- easy question, maybe. Um, we have an absolutely perfect day here in Pornake. Mm. So, 4 p.m. on a Friday, after everyone's finished listening to this interview, what would be the, your go-to track on a sunny afternoon like today? Go-to track? Man, so many options. <laughs> um, I mean, I kind of I kind of lean towards the 70s soul thing, but maybe today I would go, I would go so far to go, The Shining, Jay Diller. Ooh, yeah. very cruisy for a Saturday. Yeah, very cruisy. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, of course, today your EP Medicine was dropped. Congratulations. Kia ora. Thank you. How Thank does you. it feel? It feels like a, an array of emotions. 
like a relief, like um, like joy, like oh shit, what's next? What have I got? <laughs> you know, like thinking about my next record and stuff. But um, it's it's a lot of things, but mostly it just feels really good to be able to present, put this thing out to the world and have it out there. And and um, I really feel like this um, this record was something quite different for me. Um, I produced it myself, so it's, yeah, it's a nice feeling. Real yeah, nice feeling. absolutely. Is it was it in the works for quite a while? This one, couple of years, mm. couple of years. But um, I think yeah, it's just come about at the perfect time, to be honest. Yeah, and as yeah. you just mentioned, first time producing. Uh, tell me more about this. Was it a goal for you with your previous EPs? Yeah, yeah. It, um. I I think I've probably been learning how to produce for like the last 20 years being in the industry and just working with other great producers and um and then learning the tools at home through covid that was quite a big thing um having more time putting myself into learning and creating and um stuff at home so I kind of like learned the tools of production through that that sort of two two three year period um but yeah I feel like um it's it's a lifelong journey of of creating and expressing and learning how to how to produce and stuff. So, but it's just nice to be able to put these into my songs and just be like, yeah, that was me. I did that. You know, I can stand behind that and feel proud of it. Yeah. Mm, big time. Um, yeah. Was there anything you found that it allowed you to do that you wouldn't have been able to do otherwise or in previous creating situations? I love both situations. Like I, I, that's that's important to clarify. I love love working with other people. I work maybe the best with other people because they allow me to. They kind of help me step up, and I learn heaps from them. And you know, it's it's like you learn something from everyone in life. I think you know whether it's someone who maybe does you mm. not a good thing <laughs> to someone who who can really uplift you. So it's kind of up to you how you choose to take those things in but um yeah it's um it's been beautiful being able to just be like in my studio working my things get Corey to play the drums come on Johnny play the bass you know just keeping it kind of organic and keeping it titahi bay yeah yeah is yeah. that sort of how you would describe this creation process of this EP like a soul producer and also solo artist um how slash who did you bounce ideas around and develop things, or are you just a magician? Well, <laughs> my number one is my manager, my partner, Kushla. She's always the one that I talk to about everything first. Um, but also um, the musicians and, and community and village around me, of course. There are, are so many amazing people in our community. Um, you know, Johnny uh, Lawrence, who played some bass on the record, along with uh, Corey Champion, James Illingworth, you know, um, my band Kirsten Sorito and Lisa Tomlins and people who are in my vicinity, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, my family. Absolutely. I'm lucky. Yeah, yeah. sounds like it. <laughs> um, and speaking of other exciting and lucky things that have happened, uh, your single release from this EP, Been and Gone, featuring Wallace, also a collaborative project, um, has earned a place on the Silver Scrolls top 20 list. Was yes. that a shock? Are you surprised or did you, did you have a good feeling? Oh, I just, you know, always pleasantly surprised when you when something like that eventuates and you 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 got to be in to win, you know. You put your name in there and you hope that something happens and if you get top top 20 or top 5, it's brilliant, you know. So great to have um, some kind of uh, recognition with that song because it, it was a special song. Me and, me and Wally really enjoyed it. Um, creating and um, writing it together. So, yeah. Yeah, quite a creative yeah. one. How did that track come about? Um, I, I've always wanted to always wanted to do a, do a song with Wallace. i um, been good friends with Wallace for a few years now, since probably maybe met her when I was like seven, 16 at Wellington College, and she was another budding muso, and yeah, we had the music in common, I guess. So, um, yeah, I've always been a big fan of her work and um, it's, yeah, just an organic process of, hey, let's write a song, mm -hmm. let's see what happens and that's what happened on that day. So, 
Awesome. I'd, I'd already had this kind of like beat thing, and I was like, oh, well, let's just, just try, try writing to this, you know, and, and gradually that became Been and Gone. Um, but I think the kind of lyrical kind of message and content is is about, um, you know, people who have felt disempowered or disenfranchised or maybe even marginalised, you know, um, can feel empowered um, again. It's kind of like this, it's this sort of journey song where you take the power back into your own hands and when it can yeah, always come back. It's a beautiful thing. Awesome. Yeah. And so when people say we go way back, you actually mean it with Wallace, yeah. you do go way Hard back. Out, man. Yeah. Was it um was it sort of like falling into old friendships and quite easy to create together or Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. Beautiful. You know, Wally's so easygoing and lovely person and, you know, tremendously um uh, tremendously talented vocalist and writer, so you know, um, was easy, easy as. Amazing. Well, yeah. that is not the track that you have next to play <laughs> for us. But what's this next song called? Uh, this next one is a track by Bobby Corbell. And um, I think this is kind of relevant in this situation today releasing medicine um because it really helped inform one of the songs um which is a song called so good which is on the record and um yeah I'm a, i've been a big fan of bobby corwell for a long time um and other people who, who helped to kind of like influence me on this record people like d'angelo and marvin Gaye, along with many others of course but those three cats, um, particularly, are the ones that kind of help me um, get get things going sonically. I think, but um, this is a Bobby Corwell song, uh, nonetheless. What you won't do for love. <laughs> Wonder where I'm. Whew, so the nerves that got me. Just gonna try that again. <laughs> I guess you wonder where I've been. Search to find a law within. I came back to let you know. I've got a thing for you. And I can't let go My friends wonder what is wrong with me Cause I'm in a days Of your love you see I came back to let you know oh, oh, Got a thing for you and I can't let go no. so People go around the world for love They may never find what they dream of What you won't do To fall love You tried everything won't give up, no In my world Only you yeah, yeah. Make me do for love What I would not do, no Some people go around the world for love They may never find what they dream of What you won't do To fall love You tried everything You won't give up No In my world Only you yeah, yeah. Make me do for love what I will not do 
made me do for long what I would not do. Yeah, yeah. Make me do for long what I would not do. Make me do for long what I would not do. Make me do for love what I would not do. Absolute banger. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget about that one. Um, nice to hear it. On Thank a you. Sunny Friday Thank afternoon. You. Yeah. Um, so back to your own music, though. This afternoon, earlier today, you released a music video. Yes, yeah, we released a music video today um, for the title track of the record called Medicine. And it has two amazing dancers uh, from Tamaki Makoto, um, Oli Karuthas and Helena May, who were basically just having fun, dancing, bouncing off each other. Um, we had a kind of like a little idea of what we were doing, but to be fair, it's just two people dancing, enjoying themselves to the music. It was pretty cool. Yeah, you can feel it. Um, I love as well how it's such an identifiable location, like someone who grew up in Tamaki Makoto, the, it's, it's the silos, and you're just like, oh my gosh, I've been there. And yeah. it looks so beautiful. Like, that's totally such a good spot for that sort of thing. Yeah, such a such a great spot. And obviously, like, hats off to our DOP director, um, Tom Grew, who I worked, for, uh, worked with before on um, Been and Gone, which has Wallace in it as well. Um, but uh, he came up with the, the idea to kind of go down to Silo Park. And it was actually my manager's idea to have this um, beautiful music video um, two dancers together and me sort of playing this cameo role in the back trying to <laughs> look cool on the side of the wall like my guitar and stuff so yeah someone's got to do it someone's got to look cool <laughs> in the corner um is working with dancers and like other creative types not strictly within the music community something you're interested in doing and further projects and stuff i love it i love it i just man i get so much from um hanging out like seeing seeing how other creatives and artists view their work um you know and just their their view on the world is is fascinating to me so especially dancers it's, yeah such an enigma <laughs> it's it's um it's cool i just like soaking it up to be honest like i um enjoy enjoy f um hanging out with artists from all sorts of me you know who work in all sorts of mediums whether it's painting canvases or um, dance or you know making food so yeah it's all it's all cool to me beautiful yeah. um and the track for this video medicine you've described as kind of a reflection on your relationship with music um is this something that's been developing over time would you say or the more you create does it get stronger it's just always different that's all i can say mm. it's always different um i think Maybe my essence is still the same as it was when I first started making music, but I guess your your worldview changes somewhat from your life experience. Um, and just kind of as you go through, you you learn as you go. Um, but, yeah, it's... Um, it's just, yeah, it's always different. <laughs> yeah, I can't, yeah, yeah. can't really put it any other way. Um, to put you even more on the spot, I guess, quite a few of your recent releases have been sharing more of these personal messages and things like that. Um, does making music about these subjects come easily or is it sort of like a difficult but self-therapy that comes with this then beautiful byproduct? Amazing questions, by the way. <laughs> so intricate and, and beautiful. Um, I think... I think... Yeah, you are what you eat. You're the reflection of your life experience and what you go through as a person, as a human first, because we're, we're humans first, I think, you know, before we're artists and um, so forth. So I, um not really sure how to answer the <laughs> question. Um, can you explain just what you mean? One, yeah, one more absolutely. Time? Um, I guess that's sort of like, 
when sharing quite personal things, does it just come out naturally when you're making music um, or is it more of a goal or behind the scenes of an end line that you'd like to reach? I've always, I've always felt like inspired by this one quote from Joni Mitchell, which is like, if, if you can't lay down your own defences, um, don't expect others to lay down theirs, you know, or to that effect. I'm not sure if that's exactly verbatim, but to me that says, you know, pr just be vulnerable, be yourself, and that will allow other people to maybe break down some wall or something um, in themselves. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's kind of kind of cool quote to. Yeah, I like that a lot. I think about. Yeah. Um, and do we have a guest about to enter the room? We do. We do. We have the lovely Wallace about to join. Join us. With the grand reveal. Um, those of you listening at home, you can watch this on YouTube later and you'll see just how gracious that was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, well, just to ease you into it, I'll ask you both a question um, related to what we've been talking about. Um, sort of more behind the scenes of being a creator in the music industry. How do you support your haora through all that? Nice, easy one. <laughs> yeah, oh, I do. I do. I do a lot of different things. Um, um, but I think, like leaving, I don't know, leaving like a sacred space to to create and to perform and to like get to do fun things with my mates. I think that's the most important part for me. Just like having like clear spaces to put my brain to work. Yeah. Mm. Fight you, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to have somewhere that you can go and feel safe and disconnected. You know, can, yeah, yeah, connected to be be like you, you can connect to yourself and and um, I don't know. Making art is is sort of like a mysterious thing. Sometimes it's your creativity is just all over the place. Lee, sort of like. Mm. It's so strong, I mean, and then at other times it's like trying to, yeah, like where's you it know, gone? where is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, kind of um, like when the pen stops working and you shake it, like, is this going to help get more ink out? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then other days you're like, am I a genius? It <laughs> 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 happens like once a year maybe. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, would you two geniuses like to play a song for us? <laughs> Love to. Why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> This is called Been and Gone. No matter how deep I breathe, my heart thoughts are interrupted. And it feels like I'm sinking further down No matter how deep I think I still can find a moment And it feels like I'm running But my feet can't touch the ground been feeling way down, going nowhere But I can't see light, it's so near No more waiting now, cause it's so clear Oh, those days have been and gone Leave behind a place I always thought was home now I found my power in the letting go Letting go Taking back my mind Don't want to look behind those days that have been and gone Leave behind a place I always thought was home Now I finally found a love within my soul In my soul Taking back my mind don't want to look behind, no Never matter to me mm -hmm. 
I've avoided all of this till now. I'm facing the troubles only they could show me how. Although lately I've been finding all the pieces of me I never met before is a reason all I needed. Feeling way down, going nowhere. But I can see light when it's so near. No more waiting now, cause it's so clear. Oh, oh, oh. those days have been and gone. Leave behind a place I always thought was home. Now I find my power in the letting go. Let it sink go. Take back my mind. Don't wanna look behind. Those days have been and gone. Leave behind a place I always saw was home. Now I finally found a love within my soul. In my soul. Take back my mind. Don't wanna look behind those days have been and gone. Those days have been and gone. Those, those days have been and gone. Those days have been and gone. Say, Wally. Beautiful. No more hockey Mikey to active live with Louis Baker and Wallace. Um, and we have a gig tomorrow night that everyone must go to at San Fran. We got a gig. We got a gig at San Fran. Yeah. Both of you will be there. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. jump up. Yeah, graciously <laughs> let me jump up. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> yes, we got Wally playing um, on Been and Gone. Yeah, so we're very lucky. Awesome. Um, have you? Has it been a while since you played at San Fran? Are you looking forward to being back in the? It's old been a while. Spot? It's been mm. a while since I played at San Fran. I, I can't even remember the last time, to be honest. Uh, the last time I played Welly was Opera House, and I think that was twenty one. <laughs> Terrible. I don't even know when I last played, but it was a while ago. Yeah. Exciting. What are you looking forward to most? Just the vibes of being on stage with the band, and man, they're just such an incredible bunch of people and players got Corey Champion on the drums got Johnny Lawrence on the bass James Illingworth on the keys got Kirsten Trito and Lisa Tomlins on the BVs Inside August on percussion and the wonderful Wallace mm -hmm. as well joining us yeah very exciting um and then what straight into an international tour with Fat Freddy's Drop yeah, that comes about in November 9th, I think. Yeah. I'm busy heading bee. over then. Sorry? You're a busy bee. <laughs> busy bee. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Very lucky to be on that tour. Very, um, very grateful. Yeah. Um, and you've, you've been busy touring, releasing things, got a lot going on, and kind of it looks like you're growing a lot of attraction overseas. Um, are more sort of big travels and tours something that – you're keen on? Always. I love playing music, love playing overseas, love traveling and doing the whole thing. It's so fun. Um, it's been wicked with Freddie's. They've really, um, I don't know, just invited me in and always been so supportive of what I do and um, that means a lot. I've always been a big fan of their work. Um, Dallas has been a massive um, you know, inspiration to me vocally um, you know, along with other people in, in the vicinity like Warren Maxwell and Mother TK and, you know, but um, just, yeah, it feels great to be doing that and be out there live again, especially after not kind of doing much live yeah. for a while. So. Amazing. Um, and after that, what's next for you and for Louis Baker? Uh, we've got Homegrown. We've got Homegrown coming up, which is great. Um, and I think for me, it's just doing more of the same. Like I'm, 
I'm living the dream. I feel like I, I get to do what I really want to do, which is make records. And, um, you know, I, a lot of that is thanks to Aston Road, my my manager and partner, Kushler, who makes everything a lot easier for me. I don't have to do the business side of the music business, you know. Um, I get to focus on the creative thing. So, um, yeah, I, th I just feel feel grateful to be doing what I'm doing and I want to just keep keep going. Why not? Absolutely. You know? um, it's been such a pleasure having you in this afternoon. And my final question for you, as we discussed briefly before this, um, we run a little Ask It Forward segment as part of these active lives. So I'd like from you a question of something that you've never been asked or think you should be asked in an interview. But the beauty is you don't have to answer it. Okay. Cool. I've I've got a question. You've got a question. I got a little question, man. <laughs> a question. I got a tiny question. <laughs> question is if there was one movie that you wish you did the film score or Ooh. the music in that film, what would that be? I like that. You could that. probably word that a little bit nicer. <laughs> That's you know, such a. Like, Different you know. question. Yeah. We've definitely never had anything like that before. Um, last week we had so and so in, and their question for you is, "What's your favorite meal?" <laughs> favorite <laughs> meal. Okay. Um, <laughs> man, that's the problem. There's so many great ones. I mean, you kind of got to go down. Like, is it a pasta thing? Is True. it like Thai food? Is it you know? I don't know. Probably, probably crayfish, to be honest, and oysters. Crayfish and oysters. And just kaimawana in general, probably. On the beach. On the From beach. From the beach. From the beach. You just caught it yourself. Beautiful. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you have one last song left for us, is that right? Yes, I've got um, one more song to do. Thanks very much for, for having me, Maria. Um, radioactive, much love. You guys always have my back. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, this one is the title track from Medicine. And um, yeah, it's, it's about the therapeutic kind of power of music. Yeah. Take it away.
personas like therapy There's nothing that I'd rather do And I love it so much more And you sing with me Every time you come through Yeah, yeah It's hypnotic and I hear it Nothing sweeter than the sound Makes me feel no pain Stop the ball and listen from the top and do it all again. It's like medicine to me. Wanna put it on repeat? It's like medicine to me. and Wallace for coming in for this week's Active Live made with support from New Zealand on air. You can catch them live tomorrow night at San Fran. Tickets available on Mosh Ticks. I've been Amelia Kakite. Kia ora. Active Live. Friday, 3.30. Every week a new band. In studio. Brought to you by NZ on